Hi, welcome back to our channel Data Science and Bioinformatics. We hope that you will be enjoying our content. It will be great player for us that our content is adding value in your life. Before the start of this video, please let us introduce our two best seller courses on the Udemy. The first course is Learn Bioinformatics from Scratch, Theory and Practical. In this course, you can learn the basics of bioinformatics including the alignment, gene prediction, 3D structure prediction, and phylogenetic analysis. Our second course is Learn Docking and Molecular Dynamics Simulation. In this course, you can learn the molecular dynamic simulations and docking both from theory and the practical point of view. We hope once you will be enrolled in these courses, you will find out the content very suitable for you. So let's begin the today's video. In this video, let's talk about that how you can make a publication quality images. We have uploaded a one protein structure in front of you in a pie mall. The first thing that we need to transform this structure into the cartoon shape so that we can visualize the alpha helices, beta sheets and the loop in the protein structure. To transform this protein structure into cartoon shape, what we need to do? We need to come here on a panel on your right hand side and need to click on this S button. When you will click on this S button, then there will be a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, click your cursor to the S and then click on the cartoon. As you will click on the cartoon, you can see it here that our protein structure is transformed into the cartoon shape where we can see the alpha helices, beta sheets and the loops. Now if we will take an image of this structure, then this will not be very suitable from a publication point of view. To make a publication quality image of this protein, first we need to transform the background color from black to white. To transform this color from black to white, what we need to do? We need to come here on this display. As you will click on the display, there will be a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, please move to the background and then click on the white. As you will do that, the background color will change from black to white. Now in a publication quality image, we also want a surface model at the background. Now to add a surface model in the background, first we need to move to here to the S button once again and then here we need to click on the surface. As you will click on the surface button, then the surface model will appear in front of you. But what happened here? The cartoon model is down disappeared. Don't worry, we will bring the cartoon model back and we will take that surface model to the background. To take the surface model at the background, we will move to the settings and then we will come to the transparency. In this transparency, we will come to the surface and then we will click on this 80%. As we will click on this 80%, you can see it here that the cartoon model once again appear in front of us. And the surface model goes into the background. But the surface model color is not appropriate right now. We want to transform it into a gray color. Now to transform the surface color model, move to the settings once again and then come to the surface. When you will come to the surface, then there will be another menu. In this menu, move to the color and choose an appropriate color which you want to give to your surface model. In our case, we want to give a light gray color. So we are going to click on the light gray color. As we will do that, you can see it here that our surface model color is changed now. Now still at this point, we can't take a publication quality image. We need some more transformation. Now to further transform it, we will move to the display and then we will come to the color space. When you will bring your cursor to the color space, then there will be another menu which will pop up in front of you. In this menu, click on CMYK. When you will click on the CMYK, then you can see it here that there is a bit transformation in the color of your protein. Now, this protein seems to be inappropriate for your publication quality. But still it needs some makeup. To further enhance its quality, once again we will move to the display and then we will come to the quality. Once you will come to the quality, then there will be another menu which will pop up in front of you. And in this menu, please click on the maximum quality. When you will click on the maximum quality, it may take some time. The time will depend upon the size of your protein and your system specification. 
if your protein size is small and your system is good then the small amount of the time will be taken but if your protein is large in size and your system specification is not good in this case it may take a good amount of the time so let's wait so our quality is improved now but still there is room of improvement to further improve it once again we will move to the display and this time we will click on arthroscopic view when you will click on this arthroscopic view then there will be a further improvement in the quality of your image as you can see here that the quality of the image is further enhanced now we will once again move to the display and then we will apply the two sided lighting this two sided lighting will make our protein structure much brighter now this is time to move back to the settings once again so click on the settings and then this time come to the rendering in the rendering you will find out a one option of modernize so click on the modernize when you will click on the modernize once again this may take some time so please be patient now the modernization has been done now now once again move back to the settings and then come to the rendering this time you can explore some more options to make your quality image better like you can apply the shadows light medium or heavy in our case we are going to apply the heavy shadows the shadows are applied now let's move back to the setting once again come back to the rendering now in the rendering you can use options of the texture interior texture and the memory it's up to you we will highly recommend it to you to explore these options once you will be done then come here on the plugin and then click on lightning setting when you will click on the lightning setting then this window will pop up in front of you in this window you will find out some options the first one is default the second one is metallic third one is plastic and the fourth one is rubber for this tutorial we are going to use a plastic option so let's click here on this plastic option as we will click here on this plastic option then the transformation process will begin once again please let us tell you that this may take some time now our transformation is done as you can see it here that there is a huge difference between our initial structure and current structure now if you are satisfied with the quality of the protein structure now now you can take a snapshot of this one to take a snapshot of this protein structure you need to come here on this plugin and then you need to click here on this rendering now please let us tell you that if you are first time using this pymol then you are not going to find out this rendering option this rendering is basically a plugin that we have installed in our pymol now you can ask a question that how you can install this rendering plugin in your pymol version this is very easy if you want to install this rendering plugin or other plugins in your pymol then you need to visit one website pymolwiki.org this is a website where you can have a lot of details about the pymol use right now we are interested in the plugins so we are going to click here on this plugin as we will click on this plugin then we will be landed on the next page in this page right now we are interested in this rendering plugin so we will click on this rendering plugin when you will be on this page then you can use that information to install the plugin in your pymol version there are the two options to install this plugin in your pymol the first option is to copy the url of this plugin and then move to your pymol back in this pymol then click here on this plugin and then click on plugin manager once you will be on the plugin manager then click on install new plugins here please paste the url of the plugin and click here on this fetch most likely you are going to find out an error please don't worry sometime this first option is not going to work so we are going to let you the second option through which you can install these plugins in your pymol the second option is that please click here on this download url once you will click here on this download url then this python script will appear in front of you please select this whole python script and copy it after copying please open a notepad file and paste that content there after pasting the content in this file now please save it to save it click on this file and then click on the save button when you will click on this save button then this window will pop up in front of you now come to the save as type and click here select all files and give an appropriate name to your file in our case we are going to set a name rendering 
After setting the name, the next step is to set the extension. Keep it into mind that here we are going to use the extension .py. The .py extension is used to specify the Python files. That extension is really very important. So please don't make any mistake. After setting the appropriate name, click on the save button. As you will click on the save button, this Python script will be saved at your appropriate destination in your system. Right now, our script is saved at the desktop. Now let's move to the PyMall. Now click here on this plugin and then click on the plugin manager. When you will click on the plugin manager, then this window will pop up in front of you. Click on the install new plugin and click on the choose file. When you will click on the choose file, then it will ask you about your file that you have just saved. We have saved our file at the desktop and we are going to upload it now. After uploading it, simply click on this install button. As we have already installed the rendering plugin in our PyMall, that's why it's giving us a message that plugin already installed. Do you want to reinstall? Simply click here on this OK button. When you will click here on this OK button, the plugin will be installed in your system. Now we are ready to take the snapshot. Let's close this window. Let's come back to the plugin once again. And now click on the rendering. When you will click on the rendering, then this window will pop up in front of you. In this window, you can select the appropriate dimensions of your image. By default, it's 4 and the 4 inches. You can change it as per your own requirement. After setting the dimensions, the next step is to set an appropriate name of your image. Let's go by default with the picture.png. After setting the name, the next very important is the setting a DPI. By default, it's 300. But for most of the publications, the general requirement is 600 to 900 DPI. So let's set the DPI to 600. After setting the DPI, simply click on this draw button. As you will click on this draw button, then this image will be saved. Now where this image is saved, let's have a good idea about it. We uploaded our protein structure from the desktop. That's why our image is also saved at the desktop. This is our image. So let's double click on it. Now here you can see it that your image is now very fine. And this is ready to use in your publications. We hope now you will have a good idea that how you can use the PyMall to generate the publication quality images.